Hi, good morning all my LGBT friends and others. I'd like to continue with uh, Exodus and uh, then I'll maybe do another video and make some comments about what's going on with the gun laws. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, we're in Exodus and chapter 13. Uh, the firstborn are sanctified to God, the memorial of the Passover, the firsting of beasts are set apart. Uh, Israelites go out of Egypt and carry Joseph's bones with them. And then they come to, oh, I didn't know that, okay. And <laughs> and then um, they come to uh, Etham and God guides them by a pillar of, of a cloud and a pillar of fire. Woo, okay. So, and the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whoever opened the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Cool. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye come out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for <clears throat> by strength of hand the Lord brought you out of this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the month of Abib. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites, Jebusites, which he sware unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Um, seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all of thy quarters. So <clears throat> typically Jewish people today have to clean everything. They have to keep everything separate and, um, you know, and, and make sure there is no leaven bread in their house. And then they, you know, will have the uh, celebration. So, um, in the, and they shall sow thy son in that day, saying, this is done because of which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand and for a memorial between thine eyes and the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it to thee. And thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling that comes of a beast which thou hast, the males shall be the Lord's. And every firstling of an ass Thou shalt redeem it with a lamb, and if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck. And all the firstborn of man among thy children shall thou redeem. And it shall be when they, son, ask thee in time to come, saying, What is this that thou shalt say unto him? By strength of hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt from the house of bondage. And it came to pass that when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that the Lord showed all the firstborn in the land, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Sorry, slew. I, 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 mean, I didn't mean show. The Lord slew the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I <clears throat> sacrifice to the Lord all that opened the matrix, being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. 
and it shall be for a token upon thy hand and for frontlets between thy eyes. For the strength of the hand of the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. And it came to pass that when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God let them not through the way of the land of the Pharaoh the, of the Philistines, although that that was near. For God said, let's preadventure that people repent when they see war and they return to e Egypt. But God let the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sukkoth and encamped in Etham in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and at night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. And he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. I mean, if you saw that, wouldn't that just be amazing? I just, God is just so amazing to me in so many ways, how he made us, how we see, how we think. I mean, just amazing, amazing God. Ah, okay, chapter 14, where am I at? Okay. So God instructed the Israelites in their journey. Pharaoh pursues the Israelites murmur. Moses comforts them. God instructs Moses. The cloud removed behind the camp. They pass through the Red Sea. The Egyptians drown. Okay. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. And they turn and encamp before Pharaoh between Midol and the sea, over against Balazephon, before it shall ye encamp by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness hath shut them in. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his host, and the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took 600 chosen chariots. And all of the chariots of Egypt and the captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with a high hand. And the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and the chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army had overtook them in camping by the sea besides by high Roth before Bala Zephon. And the Pharaoh <clears throat> drew nigh and the children of Israel lifted up their eyes and behold, the Egyptians marched after them and they were sorely afraid. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because we, there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? It is not the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians. For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, 
you will see them again no more forever. And the Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. And the Lord said to Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch thy hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea, and behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, that they will follow them, and I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon his chariots, chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. Oh, so the cloud is an angel. Oh. Ministering angels. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Anyway, um, and, <clears throat> okay, so, and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and a darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, uh, and the Lord caused the sea to look back by a strong east wind all night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all the Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning Watch the Lord look while sorry, and it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked into the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels and they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel. For the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon the chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength. And when the morning appeared, said the Egyptians, fled against it. And the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen, and the host of Pharaoh that came against the sea after them. They remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on the left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and the Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord in his servant Moses. Okay, that's it for the reading for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's a blessing to you. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.